Boys and girls, today I want to show you something that just blew my mind. And it has to do with this lovely little microphone. In case you thought the title of this video was clickbaity, it is not. Because today we will record stereo tracks with just one mono microphone. We're going to use it on drums and on acoustic guitars. Let me show you how we do this. Here we go. So this microphone is the Austrian Audio OC818. It is their flagship microphone, multi-pattern large diaphragm condenser microphone. Can you just call it the flagship microphone instead? I, can't, I just, just can't remember those names. Anyway, uh, Austrian Audio was founded by some ex-AKG people. Um, and those mics are still built in, made in Austria, which is nice. And in case you remember, I already did a video where I was recording vocals with this microphone. Down by the sea, you would scream my name. Mm -hmm. And up in the sky, you could see me flying. It is a lovely sounding microphone, a world-class sounding mic. I'll put a link here and I'll put a link below to my vocal chain video. This is a great microphone for rock and metal vocals, also for raspy vocals, for you know more aggressive vocals, because like the tone of this mic is somewhere in between your typical large diaphragm mic, which is a little too bright for the vocals that I record, and the Shure SM7B, which sometimes sounds a little blunt, if you know what I mean. So this is a more neutral, slightly darker sounding condenser microphone, which makes it extremely versatile. I also use it for overheads. I will do another video where I compare this to my beloved old AKG 414B ULS microphone. But today we want to talk about a special feature because Austrian Audio didn't stop at creating a great sounding microphone. They added some kick-ass features that I've never seen before like anywhere else right uh, they also have like a Bluetooth connector a Bluetooth app so you can remote control the mic I don't need that in the studio but I think that is awesome if you are in a live situation for example what I want to show you today is a special feature that turns one single mono microphone into a stereo pair of mics which is especially cool for people who maybe can't afford two microphones you know you just buy one of those and you kind of get two but how is this possible well this is a multi-pattern microphone so it can pick up sound from both sides you know you can just switch it from cardioid to omni to figure of eight to anything in between but the special part about this is that the back side of the capsule has a separate output and what you got to use is they, they give you a mini XLR connector that you just plug in here and then you have a second output which is the backside of your capsule and of course you've got the normal um, XLR output too which makes this side of the microphone your left channel and this side of the microphone your right channel which just means you place the microphone like this in front of a source and you can pick up both sides and turn it into stereo. And to make this even better, Austrian Audio provide you with a freeware plugin called Stereo Creator. I think it's Stereo Creator, which lets you change the, the pattern of the pseudo stereo image, which is really, really fucking amazing. Today, I want to use this single microphone as a stereo room microphone. And uh, um, we're going to use it on drums and on acoustic guitars. But since I don't have any musicians here right now, I'm all alone in the studio, we got to re-room some pre-recorded tracks. Re-room some tracks? What is that? Well, I did a full video about that. I'll put a link here and I'll put a link below. In a nutshell, I got this beautiful sounding Eve Audio main monitor in my live room. Check out Eve Audio, they make amazing monitors by the way. Um, I got another pair in my other control room, 
which sounds incredible too. But I got this big ass main monitor in my live room. That means I can send tracks from my DLW into that room and re-record them. So let me show you how I set up the mics. looks a little chaotic here we just had a drum session so excuse the mess so over here you see the Eve audio monitor isn't it beautiful big ass so we are sending uh, the tracks into this monitor which spits it out into the room and on the other side of the room behind this little gobo to make things a little uh, darker we got come here the Austrian audio microphone set up like this left side right side so let's record some tracks all right here we got some dry drums that I recorded two weeks ago with my friend Fab the drummer of Emil Bulls when we recorded the drums for their upcoming album I asked him to just record a few grooves for me so I can do some some videos. So this is Fab grooving. Okay, what are we listening to? This is an overhead track in stereo, by the way, also the Austrian microphones. Great sounding, very detailed overheads that are not sounding too bright. Then we have a snare track. Bottom snare. And four tom tracks. Uh, and the kick drum is entirely triggered, so it's just MIDI. So what I did now was, you can see those two tracks here, I sent just the overheads into the live room through the EVE audio monitor and re-recorded them with one microphone. And you can see here, it says left and right. So this is the front and this is the back of the capsule of the Austrian audio microphone. And let's just have a listen to those tracks in mono, the fake room tracks. And now let's pan them left and right. Cool. Now I have routed them to a stereo group. And on that group, we put the plugin by Austrian Audio, where you can do a lot of cool stuff. So for example, you can change the pattern. If you go to cardioid, there's no real change. It sounds like before. If you go to Omni, you just get a mono, obviously a mono version in Omni. But if we go here to whatever that is, super cardioid or something, the stereo image gets a lot wider. So let's fine tune this. Nice, and now it sounds really stereo. You can also switch to pseudo MS here, where you can fine tune the mid and the side signal to make things sound wider or narrower. But I really like this setting here. Next thing I did was I added one of my favorite plugins, Sooth just to tame, especially the early reflections around, what is it, two or three K. Sounds like this. Makes the cymbal sound so much smoother. And I like warm sounding room tracks. 
Next up is compression, because we always compress our room tracks because it brings up the details and makes them sound more sexy. You guys know that I use a lot of extreme compressors for this task, but sometimes, like here, I want something more gentle. And for gentle room mic compression, let me show you what I use. This is the Waves R-Vox compressor, which sounds fantastic on vocals, sounds great on bass, and on guitars, and also on. You should get, I'll put a link below, get that plugin. It's really cheap, it's one of the most idiot-proof and greatest sounding opto compressor plugins out there. So, here it sounds like this. Smooth and great sounding compression and a real no-brainer because it's just, you know, one, one knob. Finally, I thought like, hey, this is just a room mic that will be bl slightly blended. So let's go a little more extreme and make it even more stereo with a stereo enhancer, the one you find in Cubase. But let's go back to our main drum tracks and let's blend the new stereo room track. Those toms sound amazing. And without the room, remember this is just one microphone. How fucking awesome is that? I love that. It's fucking amazing. But let me give you another beautiful example. I've also re-roomed some acoustic guitars for you. I got them over here. Sounds like this, a dry track. And that's the room. almost the same settings, like the same compressor. I'm not using Soothe that extremely, uh, but let's have a listen to the Room Tracks solo. And again, remember, this is one microphone. So this really blows my mind. You buy one microphone and you get a stereo pair. That is so smart. I mean, this can be done with any multi-pattern microphone, but which multi-pattern microphone has a second output? Maybe there are others, let me know. But I just know uh, the Austrian. So this is so cool, especially if you can't afford a second one. You can use it as a drum room mic. You can use it as a guitar room mic. You can do all kinds of experiments with it. Uh, really, really handy feature. I love it. And yeah, on top of that, it's a great sounding microphone. They also have this other plugin called Polar Designer or something, where you can tweak the Polar pattern of your Austrian mic in multiband, where you can have the lows, whatever, in cardioid and the highs in omni and stuff like that. I have to take a deep dive into that and maybe do another video. But yeah, if you're looking for a good sounding mic that can be used in mono and stereo, I don't think there's an alternative to this. And you see, it sounds really cool. And also don't forget that re-rooming technique. If you have a good sounding studio monitor like the one I have here from Eve, and you find a cool sounding room, you can use your maybe only few microphones to record, for example, the drums. And then later on, you can use the same microphones to create some room tracks. And uh, you can do that with one microphone if it's from Austrian or with several microphones. So re-rooming, believe me, is fun. And you just heard it, it sounds cool, and is, for me, it's a great creative alternative to using 
yeah, IR reverbs or something like that, because it just sounds real. It is real, okay? So I hope this was a little inspiring to you. Check out that microphone, the Austrian Audio OC, whatever, the flagship. Um, it's a real workhorse. Uh, you can use it on a lot of sources. And it has some unique features, as you've just seen. Uh, I'll put a link below. I'll also put a link to all the plugins I used in this video on the other gear and the EVE Audio Monitor, blah, blah, blah. Start rerooming your tracks. That's a lot of fun. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Uh, the most evil channel you'll find on YouTube, by the way. Uh, if you want to see more stuff about what people do in recording studios. <laughs> evil recording studios. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. I see you in hell, motherfuckers. Bye-bye.